Chair, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the time here tonight to talk about this key issue here. And I think just as a reminder as we start, as uh, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle trying to make this bill into something that it isn't, the atmosphere is made up of only 0.04% carbon dioxide. So the hysteria, since it's raised from 0.03 for the last couple decades, is really misplaced as we try to have an energy source that's reasonable and secure for the American people. The, the, the Energy Information Administration predicts a 50 percent increase in global energy consumption by the year 2050. Currently, America is the world's leading producer in natural gas. Petroleum and other fuels remain the largest energy source for Americans, and natural gas composition, uh, consumption increases, increases globally. They are expected as well. So we have, over time, the reality that no matter what the U.S. is doing, the rest of the world is going to be increasing its energy consumption. And you see on top here that all the renewables are great. They're only going to remain a tiny, tiny part around the world while we're contorting our economy to try and put our own selves out of business by meeting these ridiculous goals. So we must promote more domestic energy production, open more federal lands for exploration and drilling. H.R. 1 is a timely piece of legislation that will you know, do that, give the American people what they really want. Yeah, they want clean air and clean water, but they also want reasonable energy, and we know how to do it cleanly and efficiently. We must, must not forget that in the clean energy conversation that America's energy is cleaner than other top producers who will keep producing like China and Russia. American energy is clean energy, so I'm glad to see this bill making the reforms that are necessary to help on energy as well as forestry with the burdensome NEPA process that's delaying U.S. Forest Service doing needed thinning projects like in my district where we've had the campfire that burned down most of the town of Paradise and a million acre fire known as the Dixie Fire. NEPA reform will make it where we can save our forests to have them be cleaner, have them not put so much pollution in the air that even reaches the east coast with smoke plumes and instead have of wood and paper products coming from our forests instead of having to import them. It makes a heck of a lot more sense to have a process to work through NEPA and others that still is accountable ecologically, but is something you can get done so we can get ahead of the curve with better forest management and energy that's cleaner that comes from our country. I'm glad to be part of this bill. I thank the chairman for running it. I yield 